you coward, fantasizing about godhood as if it would actually help you grow his spine. Complacent caregiver standing by while the serpent violates your wife. Fort tongue flicking, slipping blatant foul at lies, deceiving your flesh before your very eyes. Sultry adultery, euphorically exploring role playing like you never heard the voice of God. Your rib and the serpent were hopelessly intertwined, flirting with the line between school of thought and blatant lies. I'm sure you can see his eyes shine as he crawled down the tree just like he crawled up her shaking thighs. You should be ashamed. You watch death being brought in this world as quiet as a stillbirth. The juice from that forbidden fruit standing your lips red. You wanted freedom, well you got it. As free as an apple ripped from a tree, ripped from the entity allowing it to breathe. But who is to blame? The man or the man that made him or the man that even took his name for I am a mere son of Adam falling for the same lie standing by. Seed snakes sliding up throats and down trees speaking venom hiding behind the honey words cursing God for the air they breathe. Particularly just like the adder slipping in between my teeth. So quick to press blame as if I were to gain access without my other half into eternity, selling her out for the sake of feeling righteous. But at least I'm right, as right as the silver in my right hand covered in snake blood. The head may be crushed, but so is the head of the household. I am still just a mere son of Adam, trying to multiply the God inside to somehow become God myself, as if you could get deity from flesh or gold from lead. A stronghold of idolatry ingrained in my nature rears its ugly diamond-shaped head, blaming the first man for the reason for my own death and blame the bride for why I lost my faith. I'd speak of sorrow in my face if I wasn't so obsessed with my own nudity. For heaven forbid that heaven see what it created, as if hiding snake bites like trap marks would hide the fact that I can't look God in the eye, let alone walk beside him. Sewing fit leaves together for every excuse as if a suit of dead fallen leaves would mask the fact that I would rather be covered in death and decay than admit and say I listened to the snake stood by, passing blame on the father of my father, falling farther from the garden. I guess the sin of men has fallen straight through the mortal coil from beginning to the end, hiding deep inside a habit at the sight of apples and snakes to blame the bride. And pray that we can make a paradise from the dust for my sons to abide in peace.